everyone welcome back to i enigma this is enigma we're gonna do your taurus read let's see what are the messages for you for sun moon rising and venus this is going to be a generous so take what resonates and what doesn't resonate for more personal you have the details down in the description box below don't forget to subscribe for more videos on your sign sun moon rising venus sign in taurus let's see the messages for you <clears throat> By the way, I also do white prairie based spells and we have crystals as well. Let's see. What is the person on your mind thinking, feeling about you? Some of you are dealing with someone, <clears throat> could be an older person, you're stuck between two people and you're not able to make a decision. Okay, I feel like Taurus, there are two people in your life and they are, they're, not at, they're not very good, to be honest. I feel like right now you can wait because you do have feelings for someone, but I feel like right now you're being seen as, um, you know... Um, you are attracting someone on a physical level, okay? Mm -hmm. And I feel like these people have a, um, not been up to the mark when it comes to emotional satisfaction. And that is why you're stuck. That is why you're not willing to give your cup of love to any of these options. You have someone that might be dominating. That's always like... They want things to go uh, go by their way or they just give up on it. <clears throat> so I feel like right now, Taurus, you appear amazing. There's something about you that attracts people towards you. You look amazing these days. Yeah, nine of pentacles. The tenor. I feel like you're going to be deciding to move away from the people, the options that you right now. Uh, having on your mind or your dating because you are in this energy of let me focus on myself you want to focus on self-love you're just um, doing great I feel this money is also growing um, there's a sense of prosperity and an independence you have that financial independence and I, I don't feel that you want anyone anyone to you know, um, give you satisfaction because you're happy and validated on, on your own. So it's like right now you just don't want anyone's attention and love really because you look amazing. You look okay. All right, cancer. I feel like uh, they're making you work do the work you have someone that wants to marry you but right now they're just testing you and making you work and you feel like this person is just juggling you if you feel that there's someone that's juggling you they actually are thinking of you as being a marriage material that's surprising could be a cancer aries pisces I'm definitely seeing them being extremely attracted to the point of marriage. And I feel like right now you may not be aware of this thing. What you think is this person is being deceptive. They just want you for fun and they're just lying or they're not even interested. They're juggling. So they have other options. That's what you think because this person wants to have an upper hand and is not showing you sign of vulnerability. And you think that they might not be interested in you. Five of Wands. <clears throat> Someone is coming into your life. Someone new. I'm not seeing you taking a lot of interest in this person that wants to marry you because they're going to keep you confused. They're going to keep you waiting. And I feel you're not ready to wait because you're unsure. And what you want is you want to speed up because some of you are already in this age of just settling down and having kids. And I feel this person is going to take a lot of time expressing themselves or even to let you know how they feel. 
I'm also seeing you dealing with someone that's more of a bossy person that wants things to be the their way. If not, they will blame you. Okay. So somewhere I feel like you're not very satisfied with these options that you're having. But there's something good that's about to happen for you, Taurus. I feel a Scorpio Pisces Cancer is reaching out to you. <clears throat> okay. And they're reaching out with a lot of love here. I feel if you if you can just wait, if you can just have patience, Taurus, I'm definitely sensing that you have love coming into your life. You have someone that's sensitive, that's deep, that's quick in expressing, and that will make you open and comfortable about yourself. And this is someone that you will be meeting when you're traveling. I'm hearing that your person may have long hair. Or they're a chef for some of you. There's something about fashion designing. Someone is in fashion line. I feel someone who is an artist. That's the kind of a person that you're attracting. You might be hesitant initially. But things will go so fast there on. That you won't be able to stop yourself from falling in love with this person. Because they'll make it obvious that you also reciprocate them. Thomas, please. Yeah, I feel like the person on your mind is obsessing over you, okay? They're obsessing over you, but I'm also seeing this person is not ready to bow down to your needs. They're more about themselves. They're more about what I want. The moment you lose the charm, they will shift their focus from you to someone else. That's the kind of a person you're attracting. I feel like maybe this is the person on your mind as a Scorpio or a Capricorn or a Libra, but I'm definitely seeing this is not going to go a long way. This is not the connection that's meant for you, Taurus, to be honest. You're meant to be in a more long-term connection, which you know this is not the place uh, where you will find that. So what you're doing is you, you're giving them back, okay? You're giving them back, uh, like letting this go and com completely disconnecting yourself from this. Because you think that this is not a connection on fair ground. You're not being, you know, allowed or made comfortable to express yourself to this person. So it's getting really difficult for you to stay here. Okay. Taurus, please. This person on your mind, I feel like the outcome is just that you're about to reach the end. And I feel you're the one that's going to be rejecting them after deciding. Like you have taken a long time deciding what should I do. Uh, you are finally going to take this step by rejecting this person, leaving them behind and moving to something much better. Because you see there is a potential, there is a new beginning definitely coming in for you. You believe in yourself. I feel like with this person you're not feeling good. But when you're out of this, you're going to feel extremely healed. And that is why you want to stay away from this relationship now. Yes, the tower. There is no hope in this relation because I feel it's more about you doing all the work. It also makes you feel frustrated at times and tied down. So it's better that you letting it go, leaving it behind. There may be a major fallout, a major fight. But then after this, you'll feel a sense of freedom and you'll also be open to this love, new love coming in who is so passionate. I feel the one that you're dealing with is always making you feel like you're the one to be blamed. And I feel there's someone that gets angry if they're pointed out. Okay. I'm also seeing this person for some of you. They've been blocking and unblocking you. And you're not okay with this. So finally, you are going to block this person and close the chapter. Because what you want is your personal happiness. I'm also seeing you working on your, you know, healing. I'm also seeing there's, um, you look much, you know, attractive than before you look um happier than before okay you're taking good care of yourself it's like you have come out of that you know um drama that's kept you stuck for a pretty long time so yes you're being able to focus on yourself on your art on your desire whatever you want to do whatever you want to pursue your ambitions everything means a lot to you now okay and you're happy to pursue it 
have the Queen of Cups. I'm definitely seeing you soon falling in love with someone new. And I feel that is your soulmate. The one that is coming next in your life is the one you are going to feel free to open up in love with. This is going to happen when you finally discover your potential and you work on your goals. I feel that's when you bring about that stability in your own uh, personality as well as in this relationship that's coming in for you. So the person that's coming into your life next is the one that most probably you'll be ending up getting married to. What else do we have here? Other messages, please. May mail. So all of these options are not a long-term ones. They're not meant to stay, okay? Your person is someone that's highly authoritative and has a good control over their life and I feel like there's someone with a nine to five job but has a very high position so they have a lot of respect in society that's a person for you okay so I feel like the person on your mind is just not able to fix things because they think that um you you know you you have that uh you know, presence which makes them feel intoxicated. They're not able to be themselves or they're not able to, you know, feel... And they're not able to control you. I feel the one that is on your mind. They're not able to control you and they don't like this feeling. And that is why they're too on and off. And they think that you're the one. But the timing that made you guys come together is not right. Because this person still hasn't come out of their shell. Make the efforts. So the one that's coming into your life now is someone from your friend circle. That's also what I'm feeling. And they're going to make extra efforts to win you over. And that is your soulmate. So when you see someone making efforts towards you, you can call it as your soul. You can think that this, this might be my soulmate. Person on your mind. So that's not the person. I feel it's time that you release this in, in order. In, in, um, sorry. It's time that you release this, okay, instead of fighting this, because if you can expect things to change and fix with this person on your mind, I'm not seeing there is any chance. It's just that you're wasting your time and you're wasting your moment of, you know, being with your soulmate that's about to come into your life. So with the number seven twice, you may not realize that a big miracle is about to happen and you will be surprised you'll be shocked that oh okay this is the one that's meant for me because the way you will be treated by this person coming into your life is going to like literally bring about a major blow up in your life your life is going to change you will become so excited about new things about yourself about your desires your passion a lot of other things then we have, when you pass, you leave memories, okay? You you take nothing with you but the memories. So make sure that you're leaving a good impact as well as taking good memories along with you. So if someone is not treating you right, it's better to leave instead of making extra efforts to fix things, you know, with this person. It's time for you to you know to fight for your self-respect because if you're not being treated right if you feel like this person is not uh, living up to your expectations makes you feel um, like a doormat or they're breadcrumbing you it's time that you release this stand up for yourself you might have fear of losing this person on your mind but it's worth it it's worth it rather than being with someone that's just completely toxic and has nothing to offer you <clears throat> What else, Taurus? Okay, communicate clearly. Um, I'm sensing that uh, there has been difficulty in expressing feelings from either of you or both of you in this connection. And that has been the main reason why this connection just didn't work out and things couldn't grow between you guys, but you still... Um, are on their mind and they want to marry you but they have a lot of complications I feel this person finds it really difficult to 
put things into words like what and how they want things to be and i'm also seeing over that the top of that they're controlling so if you feel like you need to address this issue it's important that you have a clear discussion with this person so that you have a proper closure in, in the end okay what else taurus please okay the leg up it's time for you to take back control of your life maybe this is the one that has been controlling you it's time that you release this and take back control of your life and move forward with dignity and self-respect it's time for you to embark on your goals and ambitions and not think about um the negatives the past okay and this person so some of you are 34 here it's time that you work on your ambition now is a lucky time this is a really really good time for you to embark on your goals okay other messages please taurus hey you're ready already doing it i feel you're already on your path You've taken the first step towards your goals and you will be leading towards major abundance and success in life. So keep forward, keep forward movement and ignore the temptations behind you. It's time for, uh, for self-care. So yeah, it is important that uh, we should avoid the situations that don't, you know, align with our happiness, that don't make us feel good and you know enlightened so right now it's important that um, you should be taking self-care and you should value yourself beyond anyone else in this world so yes that's a clear message from the universe here taurus please the energy is gaining momentum bring love into the situation a new start is i feel like you've been feeling pretty drained from a recent past it's also because of you being confused about their feelings or someone's feelings towards you you are just unnecessary you know focusing on the negative energy let me just tell you that if you really want answers you can just directly go up to them and communicate things so that you have a proper closure in case you don't want to remain stuck okay um, at least you will know the clear situation, the clear answer. Right now, I'm definitely seeing you are not giving an F to this person. You're not just wanting to even, you know, uh, communicate or get answers from this person because you know that there's something better out there for you and you want to focus on it. So what you're doing is loving yourself, living your life on your own terms, loving the people around you and you're getting it back and that is helping you gain more energy and the momentum that is required to have a new beginning, to have a new start in your life. <clears throat> All right. What else? Taurus, please. Okay leadership so you're meant to be the boss you're not meant to be the follower so this person wants a follower they want someone that's more more of a submissive person so you're not that person Taurus you're meant to be the leader you're meant to be the boss and the dominant one so here it's a clear answer that you need to take charge of your situation be the boss of your life and not let anyone take control over you you have the power right now to change things around you with all the confidence and the spirit guides protection that you're having right now. You are being supported by the angels, the spirit guides and um, universe. They are giving you this power to explore what you can do from your creative skills, what you can do from your skills, what you can how can you achieve your goal and it requires you to be confident. So right now it's important that you play it uh, smart okay and uh, for the confidence a tiger's eye bracelet is going to be really helpful so if you want that you can reach out to me as well but right now i feel like your confidence will be on a boom i'm definitely seeing it's definitely growing and you will feel an urge to do something out of the box that's what i'm seeing I want to see like what are the signs that are coming in for you, Taurus. Check out the yearly 2023 read also. 
you might get additional answers you may have aquarius leo mainly aquarius coming into your life okay yes i was getting that earlier as well there is an aquarius energy around you can see this that, that person may may be the one that's bringing in a love offer towards you but this is worth it this is definitely worth it so that's about it guys i hope you've enjoyed it taurus i literally did and don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below and help this channel i'll see you again bye